awesome person, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, that's awesome, then just welcome to my channel. My name is Joy, I do unboxings, makeup try-ons, and I'm throwing all kinds of things to keep you on your toes. And today, I am going to be scrapbooking with the supplies that was sent to me by BB Craft. If you'd like to see what I do, keep watching. Alrighty, so today I am going to show you how I do my scrapbooking and I am going to use some pictures of myself and I'm going to use a purple background. I am sitting in my bed because that is where I normally do most of my crafting except for my jewelry making that's easier at a table but everything else i seem to think is more comfortable in my bed so that's where we are today so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to use these they're like i can't remember the name of them i'm so horrible i'll edit it and but they're like little stickers and i don't know why they put these on there it makes it harder to get to them Let's pair all that out of the way. Okay. You find the end and you open it. Oh, this one ain't sticky. That's not good. Okay. Let's see. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is different than the other one I used. Alright. Oh, that's sticky. Gotcha. Okay, it's a little bit different. So, I'm going to... Measure this out, and then we're going to cut it about right there. Measure another one out, okay, about right there. So I got my border that I'm going to use, and we're just going to peel it. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm going to stick that. Very sticky. Very sticky. That's good. So I'm going to stick that at the bottom of this. Remember, it never has to be perfect. At least I don't think so. You just have to like it. But I usually like everything that I do. If I'm not satisfied with it, I keep twerking it until I am satisfied with it. Okay. Alright. So we got that. And then I'm going to just take a piece of this scotch tape that I found. And I stuff. And I'm just going to actually fold it like this. Stick it behind here, so that way I can just tape it to my board, and I have to worry about it going anywhere. Okay. All right. So now for the pictures that I picked, which are these ones right here. I love using my little scissors that I got to cut them out. So let's start with this one. Let's see. This was at my Aunt Deb's house. So I was at least 19 or 20 in this picture. Put that one right there. So what I do is I take another piece of paper. And I have this glue stick, and I'm just going to, like this, get the whole entire thing, and, and I'll put that right in the, no I'm not, I changed my mind, I'll put that right over here, and then press down, uh -oh. like so. I call that good. I'm actually, out of all these pictures, I think I'm going to take this one right here and make this my 
center picture because and I think it's the cutest one of all the pictures that I picked for this particular video. Oh, so that was in 2002, this picture was. Okay, that's cool. That was, that was um, the year my son Xavier was born. So I would have been... your days. Can you see my little double chin? <laughs> All right. And then this picture here was um, before I got pregnant with my oldest and I was actually 17 when that happened. And uh, so I was probably 15 or 16 in this picture. Absolutely remember this outfit. It was one of my favorites. I wore it like all the time. Uh oh, I lost my pictures. Oh, there they are. Okay. And then this picture here. Mm, nope. It's got my just write it from Cedar Point. So I'm going to assume. That this was when I was 15 or 14. It's not big ass glasses, but I didn't even need. I didn't even need them. The doctor um, almost messed my eyes up because I had a lazy eye. And I didn't need glasses with a subscription for like bad eyesight because I had 20 20 vision. But I did wear them for a little bit. It just gave me so many headaches, and we went back to a different doctor and found out the first doctor was a little quackety-quack-quack, -quack and yeah. Anyhow, this video, I hope it doesn't take that long. I just want to show you quickly how I do it, so that way if anybody is interested. And this video right here, or this video, this picture right here was shortly after my third child, but my oldest son, Xavier, was born. I remember that. So that would have been in 2002 also. But that was like right after, after he was born. Okay. So it's going to be the last picture that I put on here. And then, I guess let's just go with blue for right now. I have these hearts. Some of this paper I have is so old. Because I save everything for years. And this is just a hole punch. And I'm just going to punch out a bunch of hearts. And this one is a bunch. I really want a different color. Oh, oh well, so I don't got the can't see to find the color that I want. So. Out a bunch of these also. Right, so I'm gonna do that and then glue it. And do that, pull it off, and glue it. So I'm gonna take camera and get it off. There we go. And put that there. Okay, put that there. Let's see. Love letter, why not? Put that there. Um, I don't know. Let's do a hug. Put that there. Let's see if we have some more stickers. Oh, we use these stickers here. And you just, you know, I just go through and I just decorate it until I feel like it's got enough. And then 
and done. So easy peasy pudding pie. Yes. And then write the four because I was doing my animal one, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Um, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I also did this one right here. And these are actually all my animals that have passed away. I don't remember all of the names, and some of them aren't literally mine, but I was a part of their life. But that's my baby Coco. That's Tiger Kitty. I think that's Blue Eyes. That's Snowflake. That's Max. That is Sport. Um, and then this dog here and this dog here. I don't remember. I believe that was my stepmom's um, and my brother Aaron's dog. And then I'm really not sure whose dog that was, but I believe that down here is also um, Blue Eyes. So I do hope that you enjoyed watching me do my scrapbooking. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remain awesome and peace out, awesome crew.